What's the problem with traditional backing? Well, let me illustrate to you. In this race, we have 13 selections. We have to find a winner out of these 13. And that's pretty hard. Um, OK, you know, we've got the favourite here that obviously has more chance than somebody further down the field. But to try and pick one winner out of 13 is pretty tough. If we go in and back Diplomatic with £10, we will get rewarded £33 for the task of picking one winner out of 13. So I'm going to show you some software here that will make your life a lot easier. If I flick to this software, you can see it looks very similar to the existing BetDAC display that you can see here. We can see with Diplomatic, Lady Mango and various other horses down here and you can see exactly the same down here. But the difference with the software is this allows you a lot more flexibility in terms of how you place your bets. So for example if we place a bet with a stake of £10 and back Diplomatic you can see that we get the same display as if we're on a normal BetDAC screen. So if we back with £10 we will lose £10 if any of these others win, but we will win £33 if Diplomatic wins. And you can see exactly the same scenario here. We are betting with a stake of £10, we're backing with a stake of £10. We will lose £10 if any of those others um, go on to win, but we will win £33 if Diplomatic wins. But the difference with Dutching software is that you can actually back more than one runner. So if we went in, for example, and decided to back the front three, sorry the front four in this particular market. You can see here that I'd win varying amounts on the front four and I'd lose £40 if the rest came in. But the wonderful thing about a Dutching software is that you can actually specify how much you want to win. So if we went in and backed on the normal BetDAC web interface the front four with £10 you can see we've got a very mixed up uh, book at the front here where we get varying returns for our, the risk that we're taking in the market. But if we do um, bet for a target profit of on here, we can say, okay, well, let's do it the other way around. I want to win £10 if any of the first four come in. So I'm going to back with £10, or, I, or rather I back with a target of £10, and you can see here that my predicted profit will be £10 if I place these bets, and I will lose £15 if these bets do not come in. So all of a sudden we've radically changed the way that we can pick a winner. Rather than just trying to cover off a large number on the main web interface, what we've done is we've gone into here, we've selected the market that we wanted and we've said bet with a target profit of £10. You can see that if any of the front four come in we win £10 and if they don't come in we only lose 15 So all of a sudden we've completely changed um, our perspective on this race. But it gets better. And the great thing about this is we could say, OK, there are 13 runners in this race. We're picking the front four. We expect the winner to occur out of the front four. And if we get a winner out of the front four, we will win £10 if that occurs. But while we were doing our analysis, we looked at this and we thought, well, this horse here could also win. Um, but we think it's got a bit of an outsider chance. What we can actually do is we can exclude this runner from our selection. So we can say, I want to win £10 if any of the front four come in, but I want to break even if the fifth horse uh, goes on to win the race. So what we can do is if we go into here and we do adjust profit target to zero, you can see something magical happens. All of a sudden when we place this bet, we'll win £10 if the front four come in, and we will lose nothing, or very small amount, 3p in this case, if Haboob, uh, Haboob, Haboob, had Habubd, <laughs> Habubd comes in. Um, I love the names of horses. But we could also say, well, we think Buxton's got a chance, and we want to cover off something on there, but we think it's an outside chance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say here, well, in fact, I'll tell you what, I'm willing to lose a tenner if that horse comes in. It's it's 11 to 1 on, oh, sorry, 11 to 1 on, no, it's, not. it's 11 to 1 against winning. Um, so we don't think that, you know, there's a less than 10% chance of this horse going on to win the race. So, you know, we'll take a bit of risk on that. Or maybe we don't want to lose a tenner, we'll lose just a fiver. But you can see our whole process has changed from backing one horse to win the race. We can now back several horses. Not only can we back several horses, but we can exclude some. 
and we can zero the amount of profit that we'll make if one particular horse comes in. But we can also um, set a loss target as well. We can actually choose to lose slightly less on one horse than the others if the other horse comes in. And that's one of the um, wonderful things about this tool is rather than having to pick one winner from 13 runners we can now actually um, pick and choose which horses we think could win. We can predefine our own profit targets. We can even exclude horses so that we don't lose any money if they come in and we can even uh, minimize our losses on the remainder of the field if you wish. So all of a sudden we've got one, two, three, four, five, six horses out of 13 we're covering almost half the field and guaranteeing ourselves a profit or a very small loss if any one of those six goes on to win the race. And obviously picking six horses out of 13 to win is so much easier than picking one out of 13. And that's the fundamental principle behind Dutching software. In this video I'm going to place a couple of simple bets using the software and um, first thing you do is select a market from over here. So if I select this race at Kempton I'm going to bet for a target profit of £10. In other words the selections that I'm going to use and select within the software are going to generate me a £10 profit. So in this market I'm going to select the front three horses here and you can see here these are the stakes that the software will place £5, £3, £39, £2.63 and when those bets are placed we will generate a profit of £10 when these orders reach the market. If we lose and none of these front three horses go on to win the race then we will lose £11. That's what you're seeing demonstrated within this column. So to place that bet all that I need to do is click on the place bets button and when I do that you will see you'll get a confirmation here of exactly what's going on. It says you are betting on number three diplomatic at odds of 4.2 with a stake of five pound and that, oh, five pound and a penny, that represents what you can see here. So you can see here um, it's confirming the bets that we've got up there. If we are happy with what it's about to do then we just click on yes and that bet is now placed and the screen display changes now because our profit and loss account within this particular account here represents the position that we're looking for originally. So you can see here we will win £10 on any of those and we will lose £11 if the front three don't go on to win. So what you can see here is that bet has been placed and to confirm that we can look at the match bets area and you can see that that's been placed in here with the bet reference ID and the log is confirming that all of that activity has taken place. If we click on unmatched bets you can see that there are no unmatched bets so there's no action for us to take there. The only way that unmatched bets can occur is if you go into a market and there isn't enough money to be matched at in which case you may want to leave those bets there to get matched at some point in the near future. Um, so it's that simple. Select a market, decide what profit you want, um, select the runners that you want and then click on place bets. It will ask you to confirm that you're happy to place those bets and then all of a sudden that bet is placed and in the market. So at 20 to 6 this evening we can look forward to collecting our £10 when one of these three horses at the front goes on to win this race.